I'm Rob, this is Jake. You're watching Over Easy with Myers Glaros Group, and we're here today with Tyler Faree from Faree Movers. He's our esteemed guest today. Step one, uh, we always must wash our hands. Did everybody wash your hands? Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. I need to do that. Okay, go for that, Jake. We've already prepped our oven to 425 degrees. All right, so we have salted the water. We have washed and dried all produce. Oh, yeah. Um, but we need you to cut the tomatoes into half inch thick wedges. Is there a specific knife that you're using right now? The, big, the bigger the better. The big one. I'm, a little, I'm a little nervous around knives. Alright, so we got that going. Uh, in a small bowl combine the panko. I have no idea what that is. Breadcrumbs. <laughs> ah, breadcrumbs. I can't even say that. <laughs> half the fry seasoning, half the parmesan, and one tablespoon of olive oil seasoned with salt and pepper. So Tyler. So rough. <laughs> What is it that you do at Free Movers, Tyler? Uh, well, so with the company, I uh, handle everything pretty much sales related from the first point of contact when people are calling in trying to get some information on the uh, on the move process. They'll either speak to me or Cheryl or my dad. Ideally, the next step would be for me to come out to the house and uh, give an in-person estimate. I'm a big believer in that. It tends to obviously be the most accurate. You know, when you're seeing it in person, get out there and do some business development as well cooking in the kitchen with uh, <laughs> Jake here. You know, this is all part of the job description. Would you say you guys like have a, a fairly seasonal bu seasonal business? I mean, we're obviously, we, we wanted to grab you before. Uh, I, I'm imagining you probably don't have much of a life outside of work, you know, for the next couple months, being that it's March right now. And yeah, you know, and traditionally, uh, in normal years, yeah, it'd be, it'd be pretty seasonal. January, February, March would definitely be our off season. That's when people are moving. You can imagine if it's 30 below and you know there's a foot of snow on the ground, most people would uh, prefer to not have to you know move in that weather. But um, well, that's this, when they should call you because they don't want to do it. That's you, that's very true. Will. That's very true. Yeah, 2020 and, and into 2021 has definitely been uh, a year unlike any other to say the least. People have been buying and selling houses, so we we've, we've stayed busy pretty much year round um, ever since last April or so. Well, I've been checking for houses every day. <laughs> on the market one morning, but the next day gone. Yeah, that's got to be it's got to be frustrating. Oh, it, it is. And upsetting to your parents. <laughs> I don't know about upsetting. <laughs> what? Aren't you trying to get out of the house? I mean, yeah, they're trying to get you out of the house. Dad says hey, it's time to move on. Mom says no, you can stay as long as you want. I'd say I'd call you for a mover, but I would have nothing to move other than <laughs> a couple boxes. Not even. <laughs> to make quick work of it. Yeah. Like PlayStation. Uh, box. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry. The machine. Yeah, I'm, I'm old. Yeah. Back in Rob day, they were playing. Uh, I'm just kidding. You're not that much older. No. Nintendo 64. No man. Sega. No. Oh, keep so going, baby. Super Nintendo. Keep going. No. Yeah. Atari. Atari. Yeah. Atari? Atari. The one you just plug in the TV? One further back than that. This uh, this is now something your... vision? Yeah, Coleco Vision. Coleco Vision, yeah, of course. Step two, toss the tomatoes on one side of a prepared sheet with half the garlic and a drizzle of olive oil, seasoned with salt and pepper. Oh. Arrange skin sides down. We, we forgot the garlic. Oh, you right. gonna do your uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you know how to do this? No. Okay. So here's a little Oh you gotta mince it? Yeah. I think I've minced. A little mince? Yeah, you push it on, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do one. You do the other. Okay. I'm just gonna give it a give it a pound. We we have a we have a cleaning crew. We have a cleaning crew that's yeah. gonna be on site. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, <laughs> two guys in an apron and a chef's hat. Yeah. Don't cut yourself this time. I was challenged to do the finger the knife. Oh the yeah, finger trick. Yeah. Well, I, I've been practicing. I. You're making me very nervous. <laughs> Did you tell your wife you were doing this today? Uh, no. Okay. No. She's going to be wondering why you're coming home smelling like garlic. Or is that a normal day for you? Real tough day at the office, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Business development. <laughs> All right. Let's work on those relationships. Working them out. Yep. Exactly. Where's the chicken? Uh. I was really hoping there was no chicken. That was that would fantastic. Be. Rob, you want to throw uh, some tin foil on that? Parmesan crusted noodles. <laughs> if you would have just find something that was uh, in the pantry or in the fridge. <laughs> yeah, we may have some some lunch meat, some boiled ham. Oh god, some boiled Parmesan crusted spam. Oh boy. 
actually sounds pretty good. That doesn't sound too bad, actually. <laughs> I think we could do the tomatoes on one sheet and then the chicken on the other. Is that what it says? Mm -hmm. No, but a good chef doesn't follow directions. Yeah, right. How come vegetable oil is less healthy than olive oil? Because it's, why do they call it vegetable oil? You know, Rob, that's a good question for a real cooking chef. <laughs> I'm just looking forward to zesting this lemon. What, what stuff is that on? <laughs> Pat, chicken dry with paper towel. Okay. And season all over with remaining fries, seasoning, salt and pepper, place on empty side of same sheet. Half the garlic goes on with the tomatoes. Half of it? Yep. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick this up with the knife. Try to look official. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna stand clear of the knife. Uh, I don't know. Sprinkle it. <laughs> For the love of God, let him zest the lemon. <laughs> so Jake, what are we what are we putting on the chicken right now? Uh, a little bit of fry seasoning. Not exactly sure what all it is. It's very. Do you want to taste it? I need to Health inspector gave us an A plus rating. Yeah. Are you supposed to uh, display that on the wall? You guys got that A plus rating? I think you guys should. Uh, it's uh, around here somewhere. I think it's behind the camera. Hmm. I gotta get it that. I need a little bit of that stuff to wrap the backside. It's not very salty. Why don't you just eat a little bit more? <laughs> What's your favorite thing to cook at home? Do you, do you cook at home? I do. do you? I do. do you, um, do? <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna lie. The air fryer is. Ooh. Yep. Is 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 beautiful. I is love it? that thing. It, yeah. it just you can make anything. Okay. I would like it because it's convenient. It's convenient. Yeah. It's easier. Is it hard to mess stuff up in there too? Or no? Yeah, there's presets on there. Okay. You know, presets are always nice. You right. don't have to, you know, count. Um, <laughs> counting. Counting. Is counting hard. can be, you know, numbers, <laughs> numbers can sometimes uh, get the best of me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, the air fryer, it just it comes out nice and crispy. It's, it's, it's moist. It's, it's a beautiful thing. Do you, you own an air fryer? I don't. Jake? You got Sanitary. Um, I say. <laughs> do, we, do we need scissors yeah, there? Should we clean it off? Or, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah let's, let's stab it with yeah. a knife. Here, you hold it. No, I'll do it. You hold it. <laughs> Here, you hold it. Call, call 911. I'll hold it. Here, you call Let me wash the scissors. <laughs> I, got I got it. I got it. You're not telling the people about what's going into this thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We need a little narration if you don't mind. Yeah. Um, so, actually, what we could do. Because we need to roast this chicken. Yeah. Can we uh, throw yeah. this in yet? Yeah, we Oh, okay. Roast tomatoes and chicken on the middle rack until tomatoes are lightly browned. Ah, step two. In a small second bowl, combine mustard and mayonnaise evenly spread on the tops of the chicken. Mound coated sides with panko mixture and press it to adhere. No need to coat the undersides. You, time you, heard that. you you gave me a very <laughs> intense look. There's our taste tester. Not today. Not today. Oh, not today. Not today. <laughs> we have a new one today. Oh no. Does that mean we cooked bad food last time? I hated it last time. I don't like what I cook. Do you guys like the food you make or do you prefer other people's food? Who I love to cook. I like other people's food. I think it sometimes because you're your own worst critic of your food, you think it doesn't taste good, but yeah, yeah. So that's why, like a chef, you know, you're edified by how well other people like your food. Edified? Could you uh, edify for, 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 the folks at, for the folks at home? I think I. Can you define what edified means? No, I cannot. Okay, all right. Well, um, so this is a good time you would like put like at the bottom of the screen, like edified. <laughs> Merriam-Webster's <laughs> dictionary. Uh, hopefully, it's right. Uh, the right <laughs> use of the word. Um, no, if not, we'll just cut it out. What do you cook, Jake? At home? Yeah. Oof. Anything and everything. What's your favorite thing to cook at the office? Yeah, I'm too. I know the answer. To uh, at the office for yeah. lunch. salmon in uh, the microwave. It's a very gourmet dish. It is uh, rice and ground beef, topped with ketchup. Yeah, I'm wrong with that. Uh, there's a lot of things wrong with that. Actually. I'll do Brussels sprouts sometimes with uh, sweet potatoes, like roasted veggies, chicken nuggets. 
<laughs> a lot of chicken nuggets. How long have you been doing what you do? Formally, as far as like in, a, in an outside sales role, uh, it's been about seven years now. It's my family business, so I've started 15 or 16, you know, like cleaning up the warehouse, sweeping floors, uh, folding pads in the trucks, and then, uh, you know, once I got a little bit older, you know, started working on the trucks, doing local moves, and, you know, learning to pack and, and stuff like that. My great-grandfather started it 90, 92 years ago, so, uh, you know, wow. it's kind of one of those things that you just create. Grand, yeah. We get to come in three out fourth generation. Huh? If, if, if we make it that far, oh, you know, oh, dad, okay. dad's, dad's hanging on. But um, yeah, it's uh, it, 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 you feel like a sense of pride in it. You know, it's not you know some days are, are harder than others because at the same time it is your you know your name on the on the truck and you know you really want to make sure everything goes perfectly. But it's uh, it's a stressful time for people. But yeah. That's not the question you asked. You asked how long I've been doing yeah, this. So yeah, seven, seven years. Seven years. Long story short. Long story short I tend years. to take the long, yeah. uh, the long way. Yeah. So the numbers are hard. Yeah. Numbers, numbers are hard. and words. I mean, <laughs> that's a full day. Yeah. We kind of do the same thing. Yeah. Certain insurance can be stressful. People don't understand it. Yeah. Uh, to kind of give them a, a peace of mind that you know I got this. Don't worry. Well, I got this. I'm sure with your industry as well. You know, there can be some. I don't know if false narratives is the right word, but people will kind of have a mindset going into it before they actually talk to you and figure out that it may not be as scary or as bad as they think. Did you see the uh, zester yet? No. Oh, jeez. Can I please? Uh, yeah, zest the tomatoes. So you gotta get this into the oven. The tomatoes. Zest that over to make wait. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna zest the lemon. Zest and quarter lemon. You can zest the tomatoes. No, it's, I meant zest them <laughs> over the tomatoes. No, oh, not into the cup. Just, just oh, right over the top. Okay. A clean workspace is a happy slide workspace. Slide up. Slide. Oh, sorry. Ah. All right, we got some zest going on here. I think. Is anything coming up? Uh, I'm not seeing it. Well, let's see. Just keep doing it. <laughs> I can smell it. it. Smells great. I just don't know if anything. There's goes. nothing in my hand though. <laughs> oh, there's. Yeah, there's. Uh, no, that's still nothing. No, good. Okay. Who bought this zester? Why don't you try the uh, try the bigger one? Try it, yeah. Uh, it was a four for one deal. I don't know. <laughs> you know what? Jake seems to be uh, he's got the experience, so I would trust him on the zester. Oh, see, you know it's it's Are long. Yeah, it's in there. It's, okay. It's, it's, look, look. I'm just like <laughs> smack. It. Yeah, give it a little tap. Well, tap. how many how many do we zest? The whole thing or two? I, I, Double. Just, so is there a unit of measurement for zesting? Zest and quarter lemon. Oh, now no, yeah, now we're getting. And what? And quarter. Oh, zest and quarter. Yeah. Got it. Okay. You want to try? No it's fun. No. I'm so shocked with sharp things. Okay. I won't take my knuckles oh. off. That's funny. I had to, why would you be shell shocked with sharp objects? If you know, you know. Okay. I'm just going to leave it at that. All right. All right. There was an incident. Okay. All right. Involving a box cutter and my foot. Okay. <laughs> it is a hazardous Gravity. job. Yeah, oh. <laughs> it gets the best view every time. <laughs> Rob, I think everything is still inside. Like, yeah, I think you well, need no, to. No, I know, but I'm about to go. I'm gonna, you're just gonna get. No, other, other way. Oh. Oh wow, this is not not doing well. Um, Don't cut yourself this time. <gasps> oh shoot! Okay, cut myself. <laughs> Told you. Let me put just my big old paws in this sharp. Minor. Just yeah. a minor cut. See? Yeah. The fact that prop okay, so we'll skip that part I guess. All right. you, you, have, you have a first aid kit in the Yeah, we do. We're good. Next to the golf simulator. <laughs> Let's go ahead and quarter these. <laughs> Not to be that guy. You guys uh is there a timer on the uh the old chair? No, we don't Yeah, nine forty three. Yeah. And so oh, that's when you put it in. Yeah, I think. Where do I get off? I, this is their kitchen. It's, that's a safety hazard. You, can tie, you should definitely tie your shoe. <laughs> that's why I cut my finger. That's why you cut your shoes. You have an untied shoelace. Jeez. Alright. Yeah, let me get that for you, Rob. Yeah, you oh, it. yeah. Uh, it's supposed to be on the middle rack, Jake. Yeah. Okay. Right. Looks like the middle of me. That's what they want you to think. Oh, you don't break it? No. I like my pasta long. Every time I break it, it just like goes all over the place. Yeah, there's, there's missiles everywhere. Sounds like you're a pasta breaker. <laughs> That's some uh, Himalayan salt there? 
Himalayan, Himalayan pink pink sea salt. Yep. Himalayan yeah. pink sea, yeah. 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 Quick tell you what. Big fan. Big fan. To eat it or to like, don't they put them, you can like put one next to your bed? Like, no? Is that like salt lamps? Oh, yes. yeah, I thought that was some type of like weird fetish. No, 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 no. Isn't, no wasn't that a weird thing like, in Florida where people were eating salts and like bath salts? Bath salts. Yeah, and they were eating people's face off. Different kind of salt, but yes. <laughs> Not the Himalayan. <laughs> not the, no, definitely not the Himalayan. Yeah, no. No, you're supposed to, it's supposed to like relax you. You're okay. Not to eat it, but to sleep next to a, 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 a salt lamp. Yeah. There's even a, a place over in... Salt Cave. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. You ever been? No, have you? Driven by. Okay. Looks, seems, seems like you a... feel relaxed when you go by? No, because I'm usually stuck in traffic. Okay. <laughs> Smelling salts? Yeah. You crack them in. Oh, yeah. Hockey players. Yeah. Oh. Okay, Still even use those immensely. Really? Same Jake, thing. you're a hockey player. Yeah. I'm going to tie my shoe real quick. I, yeah, I mean, we've got to be worried about this hazard here. We've already had one injury. We don't need a second. Oh, the chicken doing, Rob? <laughs> while you're down there. <laughs> Let me, how's the chicken looking? Let me check it out. You know, um, is there a white in here? Uh, looks like chicken. The same as when it went in, so hopefully it's perfect. Good. The oven's on, right? Yeah. What do you need? I need I some you. water. Oh, well, that's, yeah, that's not on camera. Yeah, go ahead, get yourself some. God, who are you, the gatekeeper, Rob? Yeah, sorry. What do you need? What are we making? A mess. Chicken parmesan. <laughs> and a mess. It looks like a mess. It doesn't smell like a mess, so. Minimal bloodshed today. <laughs> Too early to say that, though. Yeah, set yourself on a cheese break. I know. How many you do that? What other jobs have you had, or what, what, if you weren't in moving, what would you be doing? Well, to, to answer your first question, my first technical job, um, not recorded by the government or anything like that, uh, me and my buddies, we were, um, we were at the park. The fair had come to town. Huh. Nice, clean-cut gentleman comes up to us and said, hey, you guys want to make some money? So, like, naturally, you know, when you're like, you know, 13, 14 years old, you're like, yeah, okay. <laughs> me and my buddy Kyle actually were carnies for the day. Just for one day. Just for one day. Okay. I operated the um, tilt the world. No, the the dragon. I stay away from those. Oh, you should. I get, yeah, because the guy, the guy, the guy actually stepped us at the end of the day. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. So that was that, that was. I guess that'd be an internship. I interned <laughs> at the uh, at the carnival. I worked at uh, GFS, that Gordon Food Service. That was a paid job. That was uh that was in kind of high school. That was a good time. Did they ever sniff you? No, no, that was, no, I, I actually really enjoyed working there. I had a lot of good uh, people I still keep in touch with today. And it, Chefs? Mostly? No? Restaurateurs? Restaurants. <laughs> I mean, yes, I mean, people that would own or, or you know, manage a restaurant that would need, uh, you know, large food. Large orders of food. Large orders of food, yeah. Why? The the 10 pounds, you know, jar of uh, olives. Yeah, those people would be there. Yeah. I didn't see olives. How do you? Really? Ugh. Um, all, yeah. all kinds? Yeah, every single one. Pasta, Rob? What's in your uh, what's in your cup, Rob? What's in your What's in your cup? Uh, this looks really good, actually. Oh, that looks. You know, you test pasta, right? Eat it. Throw it at the wall. <laughs> well, we'll test the cabinet. Oh God! You gotta, don't you? If it sticks, it's good, or no? If it bad. sticks, it's good. Yeah. Nope, not fine. That was also cracked. Yeah, that was. That was yeah, that was try it again. Yeah. Let's let our guests throw. You want to throw some pasta? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Alright. So just let her rip? Yeah. Let her rip. Oh. It's not done, done yet. Needs a little more time. Uh yeah, no, not done. Not done. Alright. <laughs> what about you, Rob? What was your first job? Wow, you know what? I didn't even put two and two together, but I You uh, were Carney too? <laughs> <laughs> uh, He's I, the guy that stiffed me. <laughs> I had a, I had quite a few jobs uh, since I was 14, 15, but uh, one of my jobs I actually jobs. Uh, worked for a moving company. Mm. Um, actually, a you tell a, a free moving company. You know, uh, I worked for Uncle Tim. Uncle T Bone. Yeah. 
Well, Ray. Yeah. So. Okay, not Ray. <laughs> Inside joke. Like, I think he was farming the football team. Oh, yeah. Right? So. Was he coaching at the time? I don't. Maybe freshman. Okay. That might have been how. Yeah. 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 Yeah, he did a brief period when he was doing that. Okay, that's probably how he. He probably was just coaching to get some, yeah. some cheap, <laughs> cheap young labor for the summer. He plays the long game. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's yeah. not a short game type of guy. Smart business guy in there. So, you guys should do that. Do you coach? I, no, you, you, no oh, I, you ref. I ref. Yeah. I ref, I ref with, uh, with Jim. No, I, I ref bitty ball uh, in Lake Central. Last year, I think it was fifth and sixth graders. I've done third and fourth graders. I've done a little bit of high school. Um, the high school kids are, are hard to keep up with. You get older, you're like, wow, they are a lot more athletic and, and yeah. fast than, than I remember. And respectful. They're very respectful. Oh, respect, my gosh. Right? Yeah, they, 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 they're just, um, they really do. Yeah. They really just... Yeah, hold you with the highest. Help an old lady cross the street. Yeah, um, yeah definitely treat you with respect. No, no back talk. <laughs> yeah. No. You didn't even test this thing yet, dude. Yeah, you gotta put something. Oh boy. Ah, oh, like I just it stuck right. to Are something. These nonstick cabinets. <laughs> <laughs> Try the refrigerator. Wait, yeah. It's ready. Okay. Don't need this one. It's very dirty. You ready for this back yet? Uh, I need. <laughs> About a minute. That's just fine. why don't you just stand there for about five minutes? That's fine. Come down. You know what? Like really, <laughs> you can't rush this stuff. What about you, Jake? What was the first job? First job for me. You're looking at it. Yeah. Actually, I was working at the uh, the hockey rink. I lived right around the corner from Midwest. Midwest. Nice. Yep. Have you driven to Zamboni before? Mm-hmm. Oh, I was like 14. That is 14. like. How do you get in on that? You gotta know a guy. No guy. No guy. Or you just get right on it. Yeah. <laughs> Go on Facebook Marketplace real quick. We're gonna buy a Zambone. Well, I mean, don't buy it right away. You gotta haggle a little bit. Yeah. Who buys the list price of a Zambone? I was told. Oh, look at this little guy. It's like a mini. That's a floor cleaner. That's an industrial floor cleaner. Ah, uh, okay. So it's like 28 grand. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Half a million. I think we're in the market. You ready for it? Yep. It's made or done. I hope you captured that sound. Why did it, it just plopped in like a mold? What do we do with the rest of those? Um, Garnish? Oh. Discard. Discard. <laughs> Discard. Uh, do you want to season the pasta with a little bit of salt and pepper? I feel like I've done this a couple times already. I hope it's not too salty. Since Jake put the chicken on the bottom rack, I'm sure they're going to be raw in the middle and just like roasted on the Oh man, side. that was beautiful. I hope it's not. Oh, that, that bounced quite a <laughs> No, that's that's medium rare chicken right there. What are you what's, talking about? It's it's pink. Mr. President? <laughs> what's going on? So it just goes to show you Tyler is extremely customer focused. He actually took a call from a customer during this time. Good job, buddy. The movie never stops. No, it doesn't. So you didn't answer my second question about if you weren't in a movie. Oh! You, what do you think you'd be doing? Can't, you're just so in it, you just can't picture yourself doing anything else. <laughs> if I could do anything, um, would be something, whether I would be like a play-by-play -play guy for like sports or, or just, or like, you know, be on a radio show. Like I've always, my, me and my buddy, like I've always talked how like our dream job would be like on ESPN 1000 and just have like a, a sports talk radio show. Like that would just be the dream because it wouldn't really feel like work. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh yeah, those are done. Those are done. Oh yeah. All right, awesome. Let's do a little, yeah, do a little, a little dab there. Yeah, yeah good. Oh wait, tomatoes too. Yeah, we've got a couple packages here. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, look at that. Just look at it. <laughs> just, just stare. Oh yeah. Okay. That's fantastic. All right. Yeah. Well, you hand me the plate. No, oh, that's just one. one. Yeah, just one. Okay. I'll be the pasta guy. There you go. You How about you're the garnish guy. Jake's the, the meat guy. So how would you rate uh, this experience uh, versus your first um, your first experience with uh, Andy Tilka? He's got you beat on his dusting skills, his sprinkling. Hey, yeah. Fun with that. <laughs> Here. Am I doing better? Yeah, but good. We got to do a little. Oh my God! Oh, you are so cleaning that up. Can we do a fork cheers? No. You can. What do we need for? 
She you wanted somebody to touch tips with four tips. That's a big fight. Mm-hmm. What are you scared of? Jake to make no, I just The whole thing? Or is it like just certain things? I don't like it's everything it. touching. Just not a fan of that. So I put the chicken on the side. No, I already, I already saw it. So. <laughs> he saw it. <laughs> How about Will? <laughs> oh my god, is Will here? <coughs> hey Jake. Hey, are you in the office? I am not. I am actually on the highway with a buddy of mine. I'll be back here probably about now. Oh, okay, never mind. We need, I thought you were upstairs. We need a taste tester, but okay. <laughs> you could call me any other day. I'd be happy to do it. <laughs> All right, we'll have to get you on next time. Yeah, definitely. I want to be, on, I want to be uh, the star. The star? the star? We can make that happen. Make me the guest star. I, I think we can do that. Yeah. Sounds like he already is the star. He is a star. Depend on that. Bye bye. Hello. Pork. Knife? Yeah, do you want to? Here, if you need a knife. That's, that's a little. Oh, that's a little nice. I used here. I used this one. Yeah, that works. You didn't put your mouth he on He licked it. Not on the knife. Rock put his finger on it. <laughs> Not with that, but I just read it. What is it called? Uh, chicken. Oh. Parmesan, Parmesan, Parmesan chicken. trusted chicken. Yes. Okay. Not to be confused with chicken, chicken Parmesan. Parmesan. We should use more cheese. Well, I mean, do you like cheese? Can you? Do you? <laughs> it's on the fork. <laughs> I planned that. It's pretty good, huh? It's pretty good. Yeah? Tara is a really good cook and baker. So, to say that, yeah, that's high praise. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's high praise. The right. noodles are like perfect. Yeah. See, I'm just cut. Cut five. Yeah, please. Hold on, I have to do the tomato. All the tomatoes where it's at. Uh, so, Tyler, if somebody wanted to get a hold of you, uh, needs some help with moving and storage, how would they how would they find you? Uh, so we are located at 550 Kennedy Avenue in Cherville. Um, they can call us at our office, 219-322-2644, or I can go to freemoving.com, get a free quote, just ask questions, look us up on Facebook, Free Movers of Cherville, or um, you can call me on my cell. Actually, no, I'm not going to put the cell out there. <laughs> Call the office. <laughs> Thanks for being on the show today. Yeah, thank, thank you guys. guys. I uh, uh, think you did a good job, and uh, we just like to... Hey, we did a good job. We did. We did. We think you did a good job. So Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, but thank you. I, uh, I got through it unscathed. Do you have a catchphrase? I do. I do, Rob. Thank you. Thank you for asking. <laughs> it's just kind of a simple one. It's where your friends don't want to help you move, but I do. So if you're going to be moving, uh, we move cross town, cross country, uh, if your office needs to be moved, um, basically anything involved in the move-in storage process other than buying or selling your home, uh, give us a call. I'd be happy to help. Cooking is hard. Insurance doesn't have to be.